All right. It's time for another victim. This one here is a Zenith model. I think it's a 6S439. I think it's from 1941 or 42. Might be from 40. Could be from 41, but could be from 40. 40 something. Um, hang on, let me double check that. Okay, yeah, it is from 1940. 6-2. Uh, three band. Showway 1, Showway 2, standard broadcast with push button presets. The finish is in uh, a fair shape. I mean, there's no uh, no deep gouge, gouges or anything that I can see or splits or anything like that. It's just cruddy looking. We got a we got a an issue with the uh, with the uh, tuning knob. Uh, it was broken. Uh, but the other ones seem to be okay, intact. I can make that one. Well, as a matter of fact, I can make them all, but if I needed to, including including these, if need. Uh, but those are still intact. It has the uh, slide rule dial. It looks as though they might have had alien life forms living in there at one time a little dirt and crud in there on it hopefully it'll clean up good um, the base however the top looks pretty good the base however is ugly ugly it's delaminating real bad I'm gonna have to remake that base I'm gonna have to remake this base and get it fitted up in this thing here. I believe I have plywood available for that. If not, I'll have to go get me a, a piece of it. Okay, and there's a little warpage right here from, it looks like it could have been in a, in a moist place somewhere yeah let me tell you a thing or two about the moist places i'll tell you okay and then in the back we've got the uh wave the antenna switch wave magnet external antenna is going to be need to be cleaned up distant local switch appears to be okay um the back is just missing this piece here. And that's about it. I don't remember if I clipped that power cord or this is the way I got it. Um, they may have done it. This here has been sitting on the shelf now for about, yeah, I guess for about four or five months maybe um, I'm pushing those Westies back <laughs> every step of the way uh, let me get this thing opened up and we'll take a look okay this one here was frozen onto the uh, the socket there I had to douse it with some WD and let it sit for a couple of minutes to get it loose uh, it was a it was a tussle let me tell you Oop. Um, I'm hoping I don't have to remake that socket <laughs> like it did the last one um, it's pretty grody inside the bad thing about these uh, Zenith cabinets that they did with these uh, high heat producing tubes in them uh, they had to ventilate it so much that it allowed 
bugs and stuff. And uh, I mean, in the winter time, if you use the radio at all, and uh, you had the heat build up in here, uh, bugs and insects like to uh, migrate to that point. And so consequently, uh, you got mice and other life forms, alien life forms, uh, wanting to move in on you without you even noticing it. See all the little blocks have come loose on the have come loose on the uh, on the reinforcement of the base. Maybe even the top too. Well, this here should be pretty much untouched. It looks like, cause that is asbestos. Breathe deep, Luke. This here has lost all its tolerance for insulating properties. It's odd. I don't know why they, why they used rubber wire for that and these flexible stranded wire for this and and it's cloth covered. I, it don't make sense. Okay, now let's see. The, the dial string is still intact. The goat the goat is still existing. Uh I think that required a different kind of a goat, but it, it will work. That one there is an original. That golden one is an original, and they uh, the six the six K seven tube. Uh, they went from glass to metal. So, but I believe it's this one and this one should be shielded. This one here is not the original shield for that. It's more like, I think these two here were goats also. And I think I have one goat <laughs> left. Uh, so let me get this out of the cabinet and we'll take a better look at it. Okay, we got her out of the cabinet. Um, the base is it's done for. So we're gonna have to remake it. The bezel is pretty cruddy and and I think we can I think we can work with this. As long as the glass is good, <laughs> not scratch. I've yet to get the speaker out and get it looked at, but we'll do that in the next video uh, in the checkout. Uh, I'm gonna split this up. I'm already at eight minutes anyway. Uh, we, there's the Red Baron doing his scraping run. Okay. Um, mostly dirt, crud buildup, and stuff like that. Cobwebs. Uh, I think this, this has been changed out. This is not a, well... I'll have to take a look at it as soon as we flip it over. But everything is, uh, is as it should be. Um, I don't know why they, I don't know why they break off these tangs. There should be some tangs on those, like, like that one, th those that are on this goat. Uh, that holds the goat in place and it grounds the goat. Uh, so it, the shield is grounded to the chassis. Um, that thing there, I have a feeling I may have to deal with that, but we'll we'll see. Um, I'm thinking this transformer has been replaced out, but let's take a look at it. And of course, that you knew the issue with that thing. So uh, let's flip this up. It is relatively untouched if it is not completely, absolutely not touched. Uh, I don't see any serious damage or anything to it. Um, the can capacitor 
right there. Houses two caps in it for filtration through the uh, fuel coil. This one over here is uh, is an addition into. Uh, I don't know why Zenith didn't use three uh, in the can. Maybe in 1940 it was an impossibility, but I don't think so. But all the caps are, are originals. Um, that one there is exploder cap, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so it is untouched. Um, I'm not sure about this. About this. Uh, band switch. We'll have to take a real close look at that when we do the uh, checkout assessment on it and um, see whether or not we need to go all the way to town, Tonto. Okay, so um, it's untouched. I'm going to call it untouched. This uh, thing here we'll, we'll get this checked out in the next video um, when I read parents he's trying <laughs> I, I this is every day this is every day I mean from from seven o'clock in the morning until seven o'clock at night they're doing touch and goes touch and goes touch and goes uh, there's a lot of people here that wants to learn to fly. I don't know why. Uh, there's really no place to go. Okay. So anyway, we're going to get this uh, and, uh, and get it crunched and get it posted. So uh, stay tuned. We will be back for more pain.